Well, welcome back, my YouTube friends. Another tip for you today. This is something that happened to me years ago, and I thought this would be a good tip to show. I don't know that I've seen another video talking about this exactly. Uh, say, for instance, you're going, you're at your black tank, and you're ready to go dump. You got everything all hooked up, and you pull your black tank valve, and nothing happens. Now, what are you going to do? You're going to take everything loose, take a stick up there and break it free? Well, I, that's not, not a very good idea. I don't think you'll like the result. So in 10 years of RVing, I've had this happen to me one time. Uh, and the situation, if I remember, it seemed like we was traveling back home. I, ha I have a sewer set up at home where I can hook to it when we get home and, and dump out. And I got to the house and nothing came out. I was kind of shocked. For, you know, for 10 years we've been RVing and, you know, keep in mind, you know, I don't use the John Wayne toilet paper. You know what I'm talking about? That little thin stuff you get it at Camping World. It's, you can see through. You know, it's, I call it John Wayne toilet paper because it's rough and tough and won't take shit off nobody. Excuse my French. So, but I, you know, I like the Charmin 23 ply, twil triple quilted and all that good stuff. It, we even flush wipes. I've never had an issue, but only one time. So, um, so that one time I had that issue, I came up with a quick, here's version 1.0. This is what I did here. I, I rigged up some parts and uh, and uh, drilled that hole out down there to make it really big to get a lot of volume but that may be overkill so here's a little bit more simpler solution it's kind of an all-in-one solution that you can buy so I'm gonna show you how this works so you got you got this valve here that you can shut on and off of course you got your gray valve you got your black valve of course our goal is to do a back flush we got to clear the clog and so with mine I'm really not for sure let me show you how mine set up because you can see this is a pipe for the black tank and come around the corner there's the, the pipe that goes right into the black tank so I'm assuming I had a clog right, right here and maybe in driving around all the toilet paper and stuff just shifted and created a clog maybe it clogged in the elbow I don't know but anyway, anyway when I did this trick it, it unclogged it and it worked just fine so let me show you how this works because you want to create a back flush now you, you got to do this in the right sequence because you don't want to apply pressure you gotta make sure the water has somewhere to go. So first of all, let's turn on the water. Okay, so we've got the water pressure is on this hose. This hose comes up to this little valve here. So what we want to do, you want to make sure when you open up this valve to let the water flow out. Now this device, you can see it has it's got like a little duckbill valve in there. It only water only flows one way. And of course, you probably don't want to use your fresh drinking water either for this process. So you just open that up and you see the water sprays through. But when you do this, you want to have your gray valve closed and this valve closed. So that way, the water, only way the water has to go is up through the black tank. So let's open this up because the black tank valve is open. Now, if you make a mistake, you keep everything closed and you turn this thing on, something's going to blow. You, you will be able to break these plastic ears off because you're going to have so much water pressure on it. So make sure something is open. Because I guess the same thing could happen on your gray tank, but it's not, not as likely. So let's open this valve up. All right, now you can see the water's filling up. It's got nowhere to go except up through the black tank. And you see it kind of feels kind of slow because that little duckbill valve is so restrictive. And we don't have a whole lot of water pressure in this campground anyway. So it takes a minute for it to get going. All right, so now you can see it's getting completely full. So now the water is working its way up through, back into the black tank. And that should clear your clog for you. It did for me, it worked out great. After I did that, I let it run for a while. I shut the water off. Then all I had to do was open this up and it cleared the clog. Easy peasy. So. Hopefully that tip will help you out. Uh, I'll, I'll try to find this online, get a link to it. But it's a really handy little device to have because it only has to happen one time and it really ruin your day. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.